Suppose you flip 20 fair coins, how many possible outcomes, how many microstates are there? Well, uh, each uh, one of the coins can either be heads or tails. So on the first coin, there's two possibilities, heads or tails. And then on the second coin, there's also two possibilities, heads and tails. And because these two throws are independent, we've got to multiply each of the probabilities. Uh, and then on the third coin same thing and then I can keep on going till I get 20 coins So that's also two possibilities. So I'm gonna have to repeat this 20 times So the number of microstates on part a would be 2 to the 20 Now on part B it says what's the probability of getting the sequence in exactly that order well in exactly that order that means those are 20 coins. I need the first coin to be exactly heads, the second coin to be exactly tails, and so on all the way to the 20th coin to be exactly tails. So there's only one way we can get this order out of all the possibilities, out of all the microstates we have. So that order is only one specific exact order out of 220. So there's only one way of getting that order out of 220. So the probability would be uh, 1 out of 220. Now for part C, it says what's the probability of getting 12 heads and 8 tails? Okay, so now here uh, we could either work on the heads or we can work on the tails. So that means uh, the num the multiplicity of getting that. So we have a total of 20 coins and then we need 12 of them to be heads. So this is 20 cho cho choose 12 and this would give me the multiplicity of getting 20 heads. And if I divide it by the multiplicity of all, which would be the first part, this here is the multiplicity for all, I would get the probability. Uh, now, uh, I did uh, go ahead in a different video and show you how to reason out the formula for this. If you're interested, watch that uh, video on uh, uh, combinatorics and how to reason this out but here I'm just gonna use the formula directly so this is gonna be uh, 20 so this is uh, the multiplicity of getting uh, sorry 12 heads will be uh, a 20 factorial divided by uh, uh, 20 minus 12 factorial uh, times uh, 12 heads, 12 factorial. Okay, and then uh, if you plug this in, you will get uh, 1, 2, 5, 970 ways. And now if I need the probability of getting 12 heads, I could just divide this by the multiplicity of all, by the all different ways these coins can land. So 1, 2, 5, oops, 9, 7, 0 divided by 2 to the 20. And you would get... zero point one two zero now notice this is the probability of getting 12 heads notice that the formula does accommodate you working on the tails so had I worked on the tails which are because there's only eight tails left out of 20 um, I would have gotten the same thing because uh, you know 20 minus 8 would get you 12 factorial and then the other term would be 8 factorial so you would be getting uh, the same exact result no matter which one you picked heads or tails this concludes the problem